Since you're most likely selling digital goods, I want to highlight how you can distribute them. There's a few settings that are tucked away that can be quite useful, especially if you're selling large files. If you're selling smaller files like music, images, or PDFs, it's still a good idea to know how the download settings work, even though you probably won't need to change your own settings. So we'll go to Downloads, Settings, Miscellaneous, and then File Downloads. Now by default, the download method is set to Forced. Now you don't need to know exactly what's going on in the background, just know that this is a more secure way of sharing a link. The downside of the forced method is that it doesn't always work for large files. So if you're selling PDFs or images, I recommend leaving this checked. If you're selling something large like videos, you may have to change this to redirect. It's slightly less secure, but you should avoid this issue entirely. If any of your customers complain about getting 404 or 403 errors when they try to download your product, you should definitely try changing forced to redirect. The file download limit is something useful to set. If you set it to something like five, that's enough times so that your average user will never bug you about it. And it may annoy someone who is sharing your download link. The download link expiration is how long you want your link to work for. 24 is a little bit short for me, so I change this to 48, so people have two days to download your files. And once you're done with all these, you can click save and be done. Now, because I'm mostly selling PDFs, I'm actually going to leave this as forced. And let's click Save Changes. If you are serving large files, you may want to take a look into Amazon S3. It's a storage service provided by Amazon, and it's very affordable and reliable. It is the go-to solution for serving large files. It can also keep your web server clean. It's usually cheaper to get Amazon S3 for storage than to upgrade your hosting because you have too many files on it. The EDD add-on is reasonably priced and they have a ton of documentation on how exactly it works. So if you're looking for something to serve large files, start here.